South Korea has been planning to build its own multi-role jet fighter going back to 2001. But after a feasibility study in 2008 and the constant attacks from its northern neighbors in 2010, the concept received renewed interest. Despite the inherent risks, it now became a matter of national security. The nation could have bought aircraft from foreign manufacturers, but they were determined to build one themselves. It was a matter of national pride. Indonesia eventually joined the project, and American company Lockheed Martin agreed to provide technology, but their joint venture would be plagued by eventualities and a lack of cooperation, causing plenty of delays. Still, South Korea is determined to make history with its four-and-a-half-generation Kai KF-21 Boramae fighter, with the potential to be upgraded and become a powerful game-changer. Origins The origins of the KF-X Advanced Multi-Role Jet Fighter project dates back to March of 2001, when South Korean President Kim Dae-jung announced the development of the new aircraft. Intended to replace the country's aging, American-built F-4D-E Phantom IIs and F-5EF Tiger IIs, the program was immediately regarded as extremely ambitious, and the Korea Institute for Defense Analyses doubted that the incipient economy could carry the enterprise to completion. Regardless, research and development started in 2002, with the requirements determined by the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Soon, however, the venture stagnated due to several delays and postponements, while its monetary cost was constantly debated. The development of the domestic defense industry then became a top priority after the constant threats and attacks from North Korea, even when the expected cost per unit would exceed purchasing a model from a foreign manufacturer. Still, it was believed the program would have a positive ripple effect on national high-tech industries. In July of 2010, Indonesia joined the project, and a partnership was consolidated. The new associates were committed to funding 20% of the KFX undertaking, as well as cooperating with the technological development through their national aerospace company. Moreover, Indonesia would purchase 50 of the 150 to 200 aircraft expected to be produced. Meanwhile, the South Korean government would absorb 60% of the cost, and domestic and international private companies would complete the remainder. Korean aerospace industries won the production bid, with American Lockheed Martin offering technological support, and the subsequent contract and delivery plan was set for no later than 2026. Development the KF-21 single-seat twin-engine multi-role fighter was given the Korean name Boramae, which translates to Young Hawk, usually one that is taken from a nest for training. The initial plan sought to surpass the stealth capabilities of the Dassault Rafale and Eurofighter Typhoon, while not reaching those of the F-35. Likewise, it was planned to be superior to the F-16 Fighting Falcon in terms of greater combat range, longer airframe lifespan, better avionics, active electronically scanned array radar, more effective electronic warfare, and data link capabilities. Moreover, it needed to have 50,000 pounds force of thrust from its twin engines, as well as supersonic interception and cruising capabilities. However, the Republic of Korea Air Force eventually downgraded the project requirements to a four and a half generation fighter and limited its stealth capabilities. In 2014, a configuration similar to the F-35 was chosen and Lockheed Martin agreed to transfer two dozen technologies from their F-35A version as part of the deal. Nevertheless, the U.S. government impeded the disclosure of four vital systems, the AESA radar, the infrared search and track, the electro-optical target tracking, and the radio jammer. Consequently, South Korea was forced to develop these crucial systems from scratch, and by 2015, 87% of the technologies required for the project were secured. The preliminary design was finalized in 2018, and the following year, a critical design review rendered the KFX compliant with the Air Force requirements. Still, there were several problems behind the scenes, with a lack of American collaboration and Indonesia Aerospace failing to pay its share. The terms of the partnership had to be renegotiated in 2019, but the development had already suffered significantly from such delays. It wouldn't be until 2021 that Indonesia reaffirmed its interest in the program and had its engineers return to South Korea. Also, a new agreement on the costs was reached. That same April, the Boramae was rolled out. The new fighter is expected to reach a top speed of 2,200 kilometers per hour. 
Plus, its range will extend to 2,900 kilometers, while being able to carry up to 7.7 .7 tons. Its first flight is scheduled for 2022, but the manufacturing company has already released a promotional video showing computerized images depicting the aircraft and its mission profiles. Possibilities While Borromeo's present incarnation is that of a four-and-a-half-generation fighter, the Hawk was always intended to evolve. Even more so, as leading nations and international aviation companies are currently developing sixth-generation models. As such, production was planned in successive blocks, allowing the fighter to incorporate new capabilities on par with the advances in global technology. It is planned that new materials and construction methods will upgrade the aircraft to the same level as fifth-generation fighters like the F-35. What's more, its developers have explained that Borromeo will also integrate sixth-generation features. One such key feature will be the ability to collaborate with unmanned combat aircraft in a man-made symbiosis. This vital characteristic is showing up in diverse programs around the world, with the pilot in command of a swarm of drones, thus acting as a force multiplier. Although it will be a human who designates targets and other relevant aspects of a given mission, future operations will require powerful artificial intelligence. Both the unmanned and KF-21 systems will feature disruptive technologies incorporated in sixth-generation fighters since their conception. It may be a gamble on the part of the South Korean military, but their evolved Chick Hawk might actually be ready before any sixth-generation fighter, which would be a major export advantage for the growing industry. As of early 2022, four completed prototypes of the single-seat version rest at the Kai plant in Sachun, and two other double-seat models are currently being assembled. Prototypes 1 and 2 have already been fitted with their General Electric F414 engines, and testing is expected to take place soon. Provided the engines and instrumentation perform as expected, the aircraft will then move onto the runway testing phase. According to a Kai official, quote, this is the most tense time. The future. After completing the taxiing tests, Borromeo is expected to fly for the first time in June of 2022, with further testing continuing for the next four years. In addition, KF-21's domestically developed advanced AESA radar is said to be superior to Russian and Chinese models. And in the following years, a prototype will be installed and tested on the fighter. As for the sensor section, the IRST will complement it, as well as an advanced optronic tracking and targeting equipment placed under the cockpit. Besides, Borome will also feature electronic warfare and self-defense systems advanced enough to increase its situational awareness and survivability. Equipped with triple redundancy flight computers and an automatic collision avoidance and recovery system, the KF-21 is expected to be a safe aircraft to fly. Furthermore, the progressive advancement of the model will comprise three blocks. The first batch of four-and-a-half-generation fighters will have reduced radar observability. The second, more advanced in construction, will carry inborn armament, which will upgrade its stealth capabilities. Finally, a third block of enhanced design, construction, and materials will enable Borromeo to enter the league of the F-35 and F-22 as a very low observability aircraft. As sixth-generation fighters go, the future KF-21 will likely be armed with laser weapons and artificial intelligence to execute cyber attacks. This hypothetical fighter would require a more powerful power plant, able to simultaneously produce more energy and handle excess heat efficiently. Plus, it might reach higher speeds than Mach 3. Meanwhile, the concept is looking for potential customers to support its development. Borome has assured 120 units for the Republic of Korea Air Force at 60 million US dollars per unit, as well as 50 to 60 units for Indonesia. And its service life is designed for 30 years, though it remains to be seen if it can last two and a half times that for a safety margin. If the Young Hawk proves successful, it will be a massive milestone for the nation's industry, but more importantly, the company itself as Kai plans to become the largest aerospace company on the continent by 2030. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to all our Dark Documentaries channels for more military advancements from across the globe. Stay tuned.